Today we're going to make a cockroach in Blender. In this video we're going to do modeling, sculpting, shading, rigging and also a little bit of animation. So let's go. So first we're going to make a single word. With that press Ctrl A and from mesh go to single word and add a single. Then I'm gonna add a skin modifier, then a subdivision modifier and also a mirror modifier. And I'm gonna press E to extrude and add with my skin. With pressing E, I am also pressing X, Y, and Z so that we could move based on axes. And press Ctrl A to resize that part of the skin and press E again and we're gonna go for the head, neck and for head again control A and also the head I'm just gonna control A and make the head bigger and make it like an actual head now we're gonna press control R and you can uh, change the segments by scrolling up and down with mouse and I'm just gonna make three dots here and let's just make the leg closer So for modeling the hands, again we're gonna, I'm gonna choose that word and press Ctrl and press E to extrude and also press Y to move the vertices based on the Y axis. I'm also gonna press Ctrl R to add another vertices so that I could make the hands you know thinner like so. Great, I'm just gonna align these two as well. Okay, I'm just gonna press Ctrl A to make it a little bit smaller because you know it's a cockroach hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, make the subdivision a bit more, like so. So this is pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna apply the skin uh, modifier so after that if you go to edit mode you will realize that uh, Blender is actually recognizing uh, the modeling of the character. You can also edit your character in the edit mode but I'm just okay with that. So I'm just gonna press 3 on keyboard so that I could change the uh, selection mode to face. I'm just gonna press Ctrl I so that I could just make this one like this and I'm just gonna press S to scale it down a little bit. Now with G and uh, pressing Y and Z I'm just gonna change the position of the face. Now from uh, the edit mode uh, from this panel you should find the extrude to cursor. Now what does this button do is that you uh, press on the screen and Blender will automatically uh, generate mesh so that we can make the tentacles of our cockroach. So that is pretty much uh, the modeling of our cockroach but we still have more things to do to our uh, model. So let's go to part 2 sculpting. So I'm just gonna go to sculpt mode 
and from there I'm first gonna apply the subdivision like so I'm just gonna make a tree and apply it just like that I was trying to make the back of the cockroach so I just had some attempts but they weren't really cool you know they were terrifying actually Bruh. so after experimenting in sculpt mode I made the back of the cockroach like so I'm just gonna add more detail to our characters so that it could look like you know a creature an insect like so so that was pretty much the sculpt mode so we're going to go to part 3 mouth and eyes so to make the mouth uh, first I go to edit mode and I just select some faces from our mesh like so I'm just gonna press X and we're gonna delete the faces so I'm just gonna go inside the head of our cockroach so I'm just gonna uh, make the back of the mouth press 2 on keyboard so I could just uh, make the selection to lines like so so that I could just select all these lines just like that and it does need uh, some you know focus but it's cool it's not really that hard so I'm just gonna select all of these and after that I'm just gonna press E to extrude these parts and I'm just gonna also press X so our vertices could move on uh, X axis so and then I just realized that this part has some problem if you ever see this kind of stuff you can easily just fix that so for example in this part I'm just gonna select all four vertices and I'm just gonna press F to apply a face just like that it's that easy I was actually a bit suspicious about all these vertices so I'm just gonna check all of these to see if if any of them actually has a problem so so everything is good so I'm just gonna press all of this again and then press F to apply a face just like that so we're actually done with mouth so I'm just gonna make the eye the eye is actually really easy so I'm just gonna make a cube with control A then I'm going to modifiers and I'm gonna apply a subdivision modifier then I'm just gonna press all uh, four vertices of it and I'm just gonna press G and also Z to make it like this and also I'm just gonna add the subdivision to like two and make it a little bit smaller just like that it's that easy uh, also I'm just gonna apply a mirror effect on it and I'm just gonna press the eyedropper and click on the cockroach so blender would realize that it should mirror the eye based on the cockroach so everything was actually quite okay with our uh, model but I just forgot to make a bot for a cockroach which is really essential so I'm just gonna go to a uh, sculpt loop again and, and then I'm just gonna use the snake hook to make a perfect beautiful bot <laughs> so that was uh, basically all uh, of the modeling and sculpting for making our cockroach in blender software so after that we're just gonna talk about color and texture so first we're going to uh, go to uh, the material properties and from there I'm just gonna make a new uh, material and just gonna make a brown color for our uh, cockroach uh, also I'm just gonna add a color for our eye for the eyes of our cockroach uh, which is gonna be like this so I'm also I'm just gonna make it bigger right click and uh, make it smooth just like that I'm just gonna add a little bit more subdivision so that it could look more round also I'm just gonna uh, reduce the roughness so that our cockroach could look like more uh, disgusting and terrifying so yeah after that I'm just gonna uh, add some texture so for adding texture I'm just gonna go to shape uh, so that we could add textures with uh, knots actually I'm just gonna use some knots and the knots are bump float curve and also a uh, Voronoi texture so 
So I'm just gonna put this to distance edge, put this to F2, and maybe smooth F1 is better. And now you can see that our cockroach looks a little bit, you know, uh, crushed. So I'm just gonna, you can easily change the amount. And now it looks like, I don't know, a, a burnt brownie, something like that. So it's still not that good. So we're just gonna reduce it so that we could just get the best result out of it. But you know, maybe we should just add another one. For example, we can easily just duplicate all of these and just place them all here. And I'm just gonna add a mix. Now from mix, just use uh, the, the color, that's it. You just place it uh, in between the lines and it will just uh, connect itself automatically. Uh, I'm just gonna also connect normal to B and from there I'm just gonna uh, reduce them until it gets a really good result. I'm just gonna set one of them to 4 and one of them to 9, but it doesn't really matter. You can just set to other uh, parameters. Also, you can see those lines out here. So I'm just gonna, you know, change the curves a little bit. So you can see that if I just change the curve, you can see that it is also fixed. So yeah, it's it looks better and it looks, you know, it looks more real. It looks more like a cockroach. Uh, increase the roughness so that it doesn't really reflect so much light and yeah it, it looks it looks really cool it, it looks it looks fabulous now so after that I was supposed to uh, start rigging the character in blender but I was really tired so I just started playing video games Anyways, now we're just gonna first uh, go to properties and from add-ons, I'm just gonna check if the rigify add-on is on. Okay, so if it is on, we're just gonna press Ctrl A and from armature, press human meta rig. First, I'm just gonna press R and Z and uh, type in 90 so, so I could rotate it and make it properly. And then from object properties, I'm just gonna uh, check on in front in viewport display so that we could see the rig uh, like this with no problem okay after that I'm just gonna press tab to go to edit mode and I have to first for example I'm just gonna uh, delete these two uh, bones because it is for breast and uh, let's just make it bigger so that it could fit the face just like that it's easy peasy from edit mode, I'm just gonna enter the edit mode and we can easily uh, just uh, resize all these bones. I'm just using G and I'm just gonna resize all of the bones so that it could fit properly on our character, just like that. And I'm just gonna speed the video up.
Also, we're just gonna talk about the face. I'm just gonna uh, put the jaw bones on the right place, just like that. For the lower hands of our cockroach, we're just gonna select all the hand bones and duplicate it. And that is literally just great. That is easily fabulous. So after that, I'm just gonna select the bones. And first, I'm just gonna apply the transforms. I'm just gonna go to Object Data Properties. I'm just gonna press uh, Generate Rig. And it would automatically generate a rig for us. And we should wait a little bit. And now you can easily see that we have a rig. Okay, so you can see that big bone. You just don't really need that. Just delete it. So I'm just going to select all of them. And at the last, I'm just going to press the rig just like that. And you can easily see that the color is changed. So I'm just going to parent all of this based on our rig. So I'm just going to press P. And from there, just use width automatic weights and it's just gonna parent the body and also the eyes to the rig and there you go our rig is completed beautifully now we're just gonna go to final part which is animation okay so we are here and it's actually really easy I'm just gonna select that part of our rig. I'm just gonna press I and choose location, rotation, and scale. So we can see that there is a keyframe here. Okay, so first let's just uh, make the timeline based on seconds. So all you have to do is to press Ctrl T. The timeline is actually based on seconds. And I'm just gonna stop on 12 frames and I'm just gonna move character body just like that I'm just gonna press I again then I'm just gonna go to one second and I'm just gonna copy the first keyframe and paste it just like that then I'm just gonna press ctrl alt and zero so that we can just uh, set our camera and then we're just gonna go to viewport shading and then realize that uh, you know we have we need some light so I'm just gonna go here and from light I'm just gonna use the area light so I'm just gonna place it like this I'm just gonna change the position of it and rotate it with 45 degrees and that is pretty much it I'm just gonna go to light setting from here and I'm just gonna add it to something like uh, 2000 it is actually beautiful it is ready to render so I'm just gonna go to render and render animation and it is basically done this is the animation yeah so okay guys that was the tutorial of making a cockroach in blender uh, if you like this video, please leave a like button and also subscribe to my channel because, uh, you know, my channel is new and I'm just really trying to make good content and I, I kind of need support. So I would be grateful if you just uh, click on like and subscribe button. And yeah, good luck.